welcome to Alaska. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. I um, hesitated to come to Alaska. Oh, really? <laughs> I do not like cold. I live in Wisconsin. <laughs> and it's cold enough. And there's enough snow. And so I am only in Juneau. I am not in Alaska. <laughs> yeah, I think Wisconsin might get it a little colder than it gets here most of the time. Yeah, I was watching your weather. And yes, you had some warmer winter days than we did. Yeah, we stayed right around freezing. <laughs> so <laughs> all year round, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, well. yeah it's, uh, it was a hard sell to get me to get over here, but I said, okay, if I just go to Juneau, I'll be happy. So here I am. At the but last our son Campbell. Jim and daughter and Wendy made sure we got here. Well, welcome to Alaska. Thank you so much. <laughs> and it's our anniversary today, 55 years. Oh, happy anniversary. I didn't realize it was the day of. Yes. Yeah. This yes. is awesome. Yeah. So, yes. I think they I'm glad we came. Yeah. Thank you. I'm just going to ask you your names and what you're celebrating. My name is Dolores Kallenberger, and this is... I'm Gerald Kallenberger. And we're celebrating our 55th wedding anniversary. Today. <laughs> Okay, so how did this idea start where you're visiting all the states? Well, we live in Wisconsin. Madison was easy to go to. We uh, also were able to get to Minnesota and then the surrounding things kind of early in our marriage. And then uh, we went to Hawaii in 1988 for our 25th wedding anniversary. And Jerry retired in 1995, and that's when we started actually going to the rest of the capitals and coming and going to the capitals. We did a lot of touring. We were able to do that, which we saw more of the country, not just the capitals. Nice. Okay, so what was the first capital city you visited? What did you say? I said Madison, Wisconsin. Madison, Wisconsin. <laughs> okay, so um, what's next after visiting every state capital? Um, just <laughs> enjoying maybe a retirement. Bit more traveling, but not too much. Yeah, um, shorter, shorter travels. Yeah, we're we're kind of getting more wanting to stay home. Uh, the, the traffic <laughs> is getting worse, and since 1995, so we have taken a lot of bus trips in our years, also. So maybe a few more of those, but probably not too much. We're not. Sure. We're kind of getting tired now. <laughs> I got you. So what has, what's your key been to a good marriage? Well, oh, communication and marry your best friend. <laughs> always. <laughs> Be your best friend. I always say when our priests ask us at church all the time, if you're the longest married couple that day, he'll say, why are you married so long? And I usually say, because you have to remember what you were, you know, how you fell in love. And that person that you fell in love with, and you still love them for all those same reasons. True. So, where's the letter you got from your, the governor? Can I have it? Show, can you open that and show it? Okay. Oh, awesome. I gotta get that. In there. That's really good. Yeah, I don't need a mic right now. So, awesome. Thank you, Tess. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in on this. So just a second. If you 